Hello everyone, this is John back with another video about food. In today's video, I'm going to compare two items that uh, one says is supposed to taste like the other. So, let's go with this one first. This is Pringles. Wendy's spicy chicken flavored Pringles. If you see my uh, other videos before, you might have seen I did a Wendy's Baconator Pringles where it was very disappointing, didn't taste nearly similar to a Baconator. It just tastes like a ketchup mayo mixture of flavors in there. Mm, just slightly downward. There we go. So we have this in frame more. Wendy's chicken sandwich spicy chicken sandwich flavored Pringles so of course then we have to compare it to this this is a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich so in order to see if this tastes like this first we gotta try this this is the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich it's got lettuce tomato mayo and the spicy chicken piece. Here we go. That's a nice amount of spice to it. Now, this is not a review of the sandwich, but it's a pretty thin piece of chicken there. Compared to like some of the newer chicken sandwiches out there. It does have a nice crisp to it. The one thin piece of lettuce and the one thin sliver of tomato. Aren't really adding much to this experience. And the mayo, for some reason, seems very watery. I wonder if supply chain issues have become so bad that, like, they're cutting tomatoes thinner or they're limiting the amount of lettuce they put on a sandwich or perhaps even watering down mayonnaise for sandwiches. I'm not going to eat the whole thing, but leave a little bit more so maybe I can go back and forth with it. But, I have this flavor in my mind. I'm going to wash out any remaining flavor with some Phantom Mystery. Wendy's has three Phantom Mystery flavors out right now. This is mystery number one. It's a red one. This tastes like red soda. Could be strawberry or fruit punch. Who knows what. Let's uh, pop the top and then the fun won't stop. can't fit my hand inside of the Pringles can having a lot of trouble getting my hand inside of the Pringles can I can get it like a few inches into the can the other rest let's taste this
Let's see if the ingredients will give me any idea. Potatoes oil, yellow corn flour, corn starch, rice flour. Okay, here we go. Salt, MSG, yeast extract, spices, onion powder, sugar, paprika for color, disodium inosidate, disodium guanylate, extractives of paprika for color, natural artificial flavor, citric acid, whey, wheat starch. Are you telling me that in this Wendy's spicy chicken Pringles, the spiciest ingredient I see here is paprika? Well, there are s spices. That could be anything. But the spiciest thing, like, obviously in here is paprika. And the f first couple I'm tasting aren't really spicy. There's also no chicken flavor in here. They could have used, like, a, a dried chicken powder. Like, chicken broth powder. So, spicy chicken, Pringles, they aren't spicy. Look at this, like, do you see any kind of spice kind of dust on either side of this? Maybe you have to eat a lot in order to get the spice built up. to the point where I can no longer reach it so I have to tip the can into my mouth but by this time a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can so I always wind up having them just spilling all over my face My hands are too big to fit inside a Pringles can. Pringles, if you're listening, I'm sure this is a complaint you hear all the time. Make your cans wider. Okay, so it's like vaguely salty and vaguely umami flavored because of the MSG, because of the uh, the sodium but you can be umami flavored and like that's what this is, it has like a slight umaminess to it but that doesn't translate over to chicken flavored It's just that vague, meaty, salty umami. And absolutely no spice at all, really. So, I know these aren't, these aren't uh, new, by the way. They've been out for a while, but I finally got a, my hands on some. Oh, there's a special offer on the lid. Download the Wendy's app. Enter the code, unlock a special Wendy's offer. I wonder if it's probably like a free spicy sandwich. I think that's what the the Baconator one was, or like a buy one get one free. The uh, sandwich, spicy, chickeny. The condiments and everything don't really add anything, but the, the bun is nice and soft. The chicken has a crispness to it. It is spicy. It has a good chicken flavor to it. The Wendy's chips, Pringles. It's like a 
just a salty, vaguely umami flavor. I'm going to put some Pringles chips right on the sandwich. That way, the Pringles chips will taste like a spicy one needs some chicken. The Pringles taste like a spicy chicken sandwich just now. There you go. Another disappointing Pringles flavor. Collaborating with Wendy's. The disappointment is double, not just because these taste bad, but both the Baconator and the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's are both really good sandwiches. Gave me a napkin. They didn't. Both great sandwiches. Both kind of messy sandwiches, too. Uh, but Pringles, try harder next time. Go to uh, Lay's Thailand. They, for some reason, are really good at capturing the essence of a certain flavor and doing it right. Uh, Pringles, I assume Pringles America. Yeah, in Jacksonville, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee. That's over two with the Wendy's, um, and uh, not looking relatively forward to trying you again. So usually it's three strikes, you're out. Hopefully the next one's not another straight K. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more of these things called videos. Uh, you'll see my other Pringles, Wendy's, Baconator one in there somewhere. And uh, leave a comment. What do you think Pringles could do next time? Are they going to stick with Wendy's or are they going to go with something else? I don't know if they have like a, a deal with Wendy's. Usually when you sign a contract, it's like a... <laughs> Excuse me. For actors, it's like you sign like a three-picture deal, so maybe they sound, sign like a three-flavor deal, and the third Wendy's one will come out sooner or later. Uh, maybe do a, a chocolate frosty Pringles. I'm sure you could do that. Just make it sweet and taste like chocolate. It'll be less disappointing. Can't be much worse than these two. Um, I'll just give this to my children since it's not spicy at all because uh, they don't know flavor yet anyway I'll see you on the next one so long bye <laughs>